इन्वेस्टिंग इज अ वेरी अडिक्टिव जॉब वट आर योर थॉट्स ऑन क्रिप्टो करेंसी असेंडिंग ऑर्डर में यू हैव टू पुट थिंग्स मनी पावर रिलेशनशिप आई तो आप लोगों का स्वागत है विनर्स ओनली के पहले पॉडकास्ट के अंदर इसमें हमारे साथ हैं बहुत ही ज्यादा स्पेशल गेस्ट मिस्टर निखिल कामत ये है को फाउंडर जेरोधा के इंडिया का सबसे बड़ा फाइनेंस प्लेटफॉर्म इनकी कंपनी हजारों करोड़ों में हर साल पैसे कमाती है और हम भी क्वेश्चन ऐसे पूछने की कोशिश करेंगे ताकि आपको भी पता चल जाए आप अपनी लाइफ में पैसे कैसे कमा सकते हैं अपनी लाइफ को अपग्रेड कैसे कर सकते हैं और कैसे मस्त मस्त चीजें आप सीख सकते हैं मिस्टर निखिल से तो लेट्स गो I would love to um, uh, hear a little bit of your back story also. Mm-hmm. Just ऐसे start करने के लिए ठीक है कि um, आपका एक like quick shot ऐसे journey कैसा रहा mm-hmm. बचपन से अभी तक या start करते हैं हाँ हाँ you you yeah. of course you can start. Uh, grew up in actually I मैंने तीन साल हरियाणा में बिताए थे अच्छा. when I was really young I think between the age group of uh, Uh, four to seven or four to eight, the dad used to work for Canara Bank. He was posted in Karnal for those three years. Came back to Bangalore when I was about seven or eight. Uh, a school has South Bangalore me called Oxford. I went there, studied up until the tenth. Uh, then I started working. Uh, so worked first. in a call center at the age of 17 i got a first first job which was a full time job but i started trading at the same time uh, i'm much older than you i'm 36 today so i'm talking 19 years ago and for the na- last 19 years of my life uh, trading has been this one passion uh, i would say trading research investing uh, public equity private equity uh debt commodities different kind of asset classes uh and every business i've been a part of since has been ancillary to investing so it could be stock broking it could be asset management like this office we are uh-huh. in uh it could be venture capital private equity jo bhi kiya hai has happened very much from a very investing mentality uh and i think i got lucky to figure out what i like doing very early in life so do you think uh, uh we should do what we like doing 100% or should we just do what is uh, because i have this mm. philosophy ki mm. when i do something that i love mm. a lot of times it might not be the right thing aisa ki jaise mera agar se dance karne ka bahut zyada mann hai to i would rather कि डांस करने से पैसा नहीं बनेगा तो आई वुड रादर चूज समथिंग बट इज दैट ट्रू डू यू लाइक डांसिंग नो आई आई लाइक डिजाइन एक्चुअली स्टार्टेड विद डिजाइन बट इट डेंट वर्क तो आई स्टार्टेड मेकिंग यूट्यूब वीडियोस बिकॉज इट वाज समथिंग आई वाज गुड आर्ट बट एसेंशियली नॉट टू मच लाइक डेट ऑल मतलब ऐसा ऐसा टाइप बट यू स्पोक अलॉट अबाउट आपको पैसे से बहुत ज़्यादा इन्वॉल्वमेंट हमेशा से ही रहा है तो लाइक वेन डिड इट स्टार्ट कि हाउ डिड यू लाइक गेट इन्वॉल्व विद ट्रेडिंग और मतलब मतलब ये पैसे का इन्फ्लुएंस कहाँ से आया आई थिंक हम लोग सब यू नो वी आर ऑल ड्रिविन बाय आर इन सिक्योरिटीज इन अ मैन वी डोंट रियलाइज जैसे आई थिंक द मोस्ट इफ यू रीड एनी बुक ऑन साइकोलॉजी इट विल टेल यू the most formative years of your brain are when you're probably between the ages of 3 to 8 to 10 uh, you know uh, your subconscious gets ingrained with thoughts even before you're consciously thinking them by virtue of your childhood so uh, you know all humans want what they don't have too much of and uh, maybe at some po- at some level in my subconscious Uh, as a child i always knew i wanted access to things which i might not have had back then and hence ye paise kamane ka i think the uh, for the lack of a better word the mm-hmm. hunger to make money has always existed uh, like i think it does in most people uh, but i think the lucky part in my own journey has been uh, finding trading as early as i did Uh, so this investing is a very addictive job uh, you know uh, 
I would say like in the last 18, 19 years that I've been an investor, uh, there would probably be two, three days when markets are on and I've not been in front of my terminals uh, by virtue of, you know, being sick, you know, hospital or whatever. But uh, most often, 99.9999% uh, of the time, if markets are open, I will be there. Uh, not today necessarily because of money but because of the addiction over the last 18 19 years but mm. uh, wanting to make money started at a very young age like i think it does in everybody different people mask it or different people recognize it in a different manner but we all want at some subconscious level what we don't have right i think it started there have your thoughts about money changed Ki like pehle aap like paise ko ek tarike se dekhte the and after as life has grown as you have started to make more money or as you have started to grow or mindset grow yeah. has it changed yeah uh, at the very beginning money was access uh, it helped me get stuff i did not have mm -hmm. uh, it kind of like uh, you know something you've been looking forward to for a long time but have not been able to get it by virtue of money you know the way capitalism defines society is very much by order of how much money you're able to make and by virtue of that you get access so i would say uh, that was very prevalent in me at the very beginning but today it has changed i, I feel today money has become more freedom uh, freedom to try new things uh, fail at some of them and still not uh, have to kind of like you know go back to zero and restart that ability to try new stuff, the ability to pick who you work with, uh, mm -hmm. the ability to a certain extent to pick what you do with your time. Uh, those are the big advantages of money in life today. <coughs> okay, so um, essentially, initially it was just access mm. or abvo, uh, like it has expanded to freedom. What would you do if you had infinite money? Uh, from a material standpoint, I don't think I would change much. Mm. Uh, like, this is like a very uh, honest answer, but I probably spend significantly less money today than I did a few years ago when I made significantly less money than I did today, making money in the traditional sense. So I don't think anything uh, different would happen in day-to-day -day life. Mm -hmm. I would have the same friends i would do pretty much the same routine uh, but i think your ability to try new things grows up exponentially right mm -hmm. if i had more money and i want to take a project which is really big and attempt something new what would give an example of that big of a project uh kuch hai yaar. like uh, what have i been thinking of la of late like something around uh, you know, we've been talking about creating this carbon exchange where uh, when a carbon tax were to come about in the world, uh, an exchange which maps and allows people to trade uh, carbon uh, credits essentially more effectively, I think is a great idea. Uh, but that pragmatically is so far away in, a, in India and I think it will take many years to come by. So right now it doesn't seem practical to allocate so much money and time and effort into building something like that okay. but if you had unlimited money you could try this you could try something else and something else and try unlimited number of new ideas right i think mereko uh, this is this my thought ki hamare dimag mein we cannot think what is not possible hmm. as a type ki um, a dog can only think uh, he cannot, I mean, a dog can't think about starting a business. A cat can't think about climbing Mount Everest. Climb and that is what I also think that in our mind, there is no idea that we can't do it. Which is not a possibility. Hmm. Whatever we think, we can uh, do to some extent. And um, I, I believe like um, money essentially allows us to uh, do wo sari so uh, how would you call money is it like a resource is it like um, freedom ya is it if you were to give 
जस्ट वन वर्ड कि हाँ दिस इज मनी और हाँ आई वुड से मनी इज अ टूल टू गेट फ्रीडम मनी फॉर मी टूडे माइट बी फ्रीडम बट मनी फॉर यू नो हिम माइट बी समथिंग एल्स फॉर समबडी एल्स माइट बी समथिंग एल्स आई थिंक इन डिफरेंट फेजेस ऑफ योर लाइफ योर डेफिनेशन ऑफ मनी विल चेंज Uh, but the most apt one for me in my life where i am today is probably uh, freedom to try stuff uh, freedom to kind of like uh, fail at two three things and not have to you know go back to zero and restart uh, you know you know uh, in a very candid way i'll tell you that since i've been doing the same job for so long If you were to ask me, will you be able to restart and do it all over again? The answer I tell myself in my own head is no chance. Uh, I don't think uh, the energy, the hunger, the gumption, uh, all of that like it existed uh, in my maybe late teens or early twenties. It's very hard to replicate. And outside of replicating that, I feel like companies work not just by virtue of people who build the company. Uh, but a bigger part is played by what you are trying to build at what point of time uh, so for the things that we did the time that we did it in was right if we had to do exactly the same thing today would probably not work as well uh, so uh, you have to give cognizance to the timing and the luck element uh, in many cases like aap hamari baat soch lo like you or me right like you are a very successful uh, youtuber and uh, popular and all of that but for both of us if we were to think are there 10000 people who are smarter more hard working uh, more hungry out there in the world today there definitely are maybe like you know not 10000 but 100000 uh, the reason for uh, success in many ways is a factor of all these moving parts that uh that one can't really put into bo- a box and say because of a b c d e x worked and uh, replicated in a way uh, so considering how lucky i've gotten considering the journey considering uh, all the helpful people along the way my colleagues uh, everybody who has played such a big role in it today at this point money for me is access uh, is no longer just access but is freedom तो जिस लाइक यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट कि द रीजन्स वाई कि पैसा लेट्स ए यू मेड मनी और सक्सेस एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट एंड आई थिंक यू ऑल्सो सेड अ लिटल बिट अबाउट लक बट अगर आपको बताना हो कि मे बी ऐसा होगा कि लाइक देर वुड बी हंड्रेड थिंग्स एंड फिफ्टी कंट्रोल में नहीं है फिफ्टी इज लाइक आपके कंट्रोल में नहीं है बट दीज आर द फिफ्टी जो आपको सक्सेसफुल वुड इंक्रीज द चांसेस ऑफ योर सक्सेस सो उनमें से जो टॉप फाइव हो कि इफ यू डू दीज लेट्स इफ दीज आर इन योर लाइफ स्टाइल और योर माइंड सेट और लेट्स योर स्किल या फिर कुछ भी ऐसी पांच चीज़ें जो यू वुड से कि दीज कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटेड द मोस्ट टू हु यू आर एंड योर सक्सेस एंड द मनी यू आर you're not talking about external factors but more internal ones external bhi chalega if you are talking about a group of people who yeah. surrounded yeah. you or anything I whatever think that is. that by far is the biggest factor the people around me right like including my colleagues my family uh, my brother like all these people uh, have played the biggest part in my journey uh that would probably be followed up by uh जो भी हमारे बिजनेस स्केल अप हुए बहुत जल्दी यू नो द बिगेस्ट वन वी स्टार्टेड वॉज द ब्रोकिंग कंपनी इन टू थाउजेंड नाइन टू थाउजेंड टेन इट हैपन राइट आफ्टर द 2008 फाइनेंशियल क्राइसिस नो बडी वॉज स्पेंडिंग एनी रियल मनी इन इनोवेशन और ट्राइंग टू चेंज थिंग्स अराउंड लाइक फिनटेक एज अ वर्ल्ड वर स्टिल नॉट इवन मेन स्ट्रीम बैक दैन राइट आई एम टॉकिंग तेरह साल पहले फोर्टीन ईयर्स अगो एंड एवर सिंस दैन मार्केट्स नॉट जस्ट इन इंडिया बट अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड हैव विटनेस्ड अ वन डायरेक्शनल बुल रन 
and for a cyclical business like that uh, to have started it exactly that time i think we were very fortunate f- for the timing of it so i would give highest importance to people uh, the first one second would be timing uh, without euphemizing too much if i had to say something about the two percent that i might have contributed is uh, i think uh, i'm obsessive about things that i do and uh, if i'm doing one thing the general tendency is to overdo it ignore other facets of my life uh, which i've realized later in life is such a wrong thing to do uh, but you know i've spent like many years living in my office uh, i used to have a bed in my cabin and Uh, so i can obsessively do one thing for many years uh ye you know as you're younger than me i can you know even give you like a little suggestion or advice uh, you realize later in life that uh success and happiness is never derived from one facet of your life but in living life in a more holistic manner uh, all those you know uh uh birthdays of friends uh, anniversary of parents uh, weddings of friends all of that you miss while you're being obsessive in one thing will one day lead you to a spot where you you might have achieved what you set out to and you know you might have gotten what you wanted uh, but it will leave you feeling a little bit hollow and then you will you will want to restart your life and live uh, uh to make up for all of that but in many cases it'll be too late because you know uh, say for example you have parents you're like 26 27 right your parents might be 50 years old what you can do with them now in terms of taking them on a holiday or spending time with them it will not be the same when you realize this 10 years from now and you look back uh, so uh, when i look back at that time like i was saying as you're 10 years younger than me uh, don't evaluate success through one lens or one facet but look at it from a overall sense where you're not only doing this thing which you're doing incredibly well uh, but you're paying attention to the other domains in your life as well hmm so um agar if let's say we'll start with the first one uh ki if someone let's say who is let's say a 16 year old hmm. he has to um he needs great people around him so what does he have to do if he does has like toxic friends and uh, all of it what do you suggest ki like they they remove uh, the people that are not good or they try to add more people i think i realized this again late in life that having fewer friends is better than having many acquaintances and um, if you have four or five people you can call friends and i mean friends in the manner jaise ki wo aapke liye empathize kar sake uh, they take pride in your success and uh, they em- they have empathy when things don't go in your direction friends like that like really non toxic healthy friendships i think five is a lot uh, to be able to maintain and service in in a manner of speaking so uh, you often find out very easily who is toxic and who is not uh, the the best thing to do is you know like remove that toxicity as early as you can and hang around uh, people who are essentially not just takers who are not taking stuff from you emotionally uh, psychologically but also giving and they're contributing to your life and uh, i don't think you need a lot of knowledge or wisdom to be able to arrive at who is toxic and who is not Uh, innately we all have that ability to judge and i think making that decision early is important would you also credit it to um, how like because we are talking about people to apne apni team ko kaise curate kara ki um, you hired the best people that you were able to find or you um, ki agar let's say kisi ko zarurat mein job bhi chahiye to um, what how how what would be the best chance ki usko job mile ki like what is the uh, hiring criteria ya fir how did you select the initial people or how do you select people so i can't take much credit for selecting the people that we did <coughs> but i'll tell you this 
the people who are the management team of Zeroda are all uh, friends. We valued them as friends first and then formed the professional relationship. Like uh, our uh, head of people is somebody uh, whose brother-in-law I used to work with at a call center and maybe 16, 17 years ago he came about to our office and started hanging out. His name is Hanan. He wanted to like learn trading and trade from there. So through these 16 years he has been with us. Our COO is somebody I used to play gully cricket with when I was 10 years old. His father was a colleague of my father. Uh, somebody else who's on the team uh, like obviously Nitin my brother uh, a partner I think I would give him more credit for bringing this team together but Karthik is another guy who who was friends with us from a very young age Kailash again uh, our CTO uh, probably the most uh, important and uh, evolved member of the team again has been a part of us and a friend and like family for about 10 years now uh, so we valued relationship and friendship uh, to some extent when we got people on board and I would give credit to these people who in turn hired uh, and did a great job at it but uh, I think from ex from you know like just looking at them I can tell you that they don't give much uh, precedence to things like qualification and degree and formal education uh, but they take a different approach to hiring people where they actually try to get into it and figure out what skill set who has and then hire i've heard um, a lot about ki i've uh, seen um, ki jise, um, you only send zerodha say uh, 12 notifications uh, an year mm. and um, you value jo trust hai hmm. uh, and uh, jo i think jo ek customer ki loyalty hai um, usko uh, zerodha values a lot so how do you think ki like how much of it would you say ki um, values ya ek philosophy uh, jo hai is usne role play kara i think at the very core of it don't do upon others what you wouldn't do to yourself right like uh, you know how many messages you probably get and how much spam calling you get on a daily basis why would you want to subject another human being to that because uh, I get a lot and I think it's tortured like I have true color I have blocked numbers but still I get I don't know 50 100 calls a day and maybe like hundreds of messages a day where people are uh, you know just chasing you especially this happens when you know you just register a new company with MCA you take a new phone connection you enter your name down in some application somebody leaks your number and you're inundated with so much nonsense and uh, calls all through the week right like uh, it feels like crap and we all know it does so uh, when we don't like it being done to us I don't think it's right for us to do it to someone else is there like a core philosophy ki um, this is why like um, zerodha ki ye philosophy hai um, hmm. i would you know in fact like our cto uh, the guy kailash nath he wrote a post about this on dis disengagement in a way uh, i think at at the core the philosophy is very much jo aapko acha nahi lage jab dusre aap se aapko kare so you don't do I think essentially, that very simply, that's the philosophy. Okay, okay. Have you, um, what are your opinions on, because uh, in the tech space, um, Twitter is very popular and uh, a lot of people critique uh, tech on Twitter or uh, sorry, things. But um, Elon Musk just bought Twitter, he took over and you, uh, did you see the video? He is coming uh, with a sink and uh, I think that was a caption ki, like let that sink in. W what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts about Twitter and mm -hmm. in general ki, like kya ho sakta hai social media? Ke yeah, nahin, I, I would like to say, you know, like I think Elon Musk is an incredible individual, right? All that he has achieved. 
uh, I think people often forget that he's also a human being, right? Like, why do you judge someone to another? Uh, why do you compare him to some godlike figure, whereas you're not able to introspect and compare yourself to anything? Like, uh, I don't think it's right for us not to judge ourselves, but to judge this incredible human being. I feel people are too harsh to him. Uh, like I've been seeing all the critique going on about uh, Elon Musk on Twitter like uh, ever since the last two weeks at the end of the day Wobi you know he's a human being I think uh, he uh, in all fairness the way he deals with it the amount of uh, humor he has when he responds I think it takes a lot and he must be a really strong person to pull it off while you're getting trolled like that so I've had the unfortunate uh, experience of, you know, being trolled a couple of times in life. I, I know how it feels. So to watch him get trolled on a global scale by literally everybody, but still have, you know, humor in his replies and take it and respond and all of that. Uh, I'm in awe of the guy. I think I'm even more impressed because he just didn't do it for a short period of time. Now he's been at it for years, right? Do you watch um, videos or social media content? How how actively do you consume it? I try not to. Uh, I mean, I, I love podcasts and tech stuff and like uh, looking at information download. But uh, anything which is not information but opinion, uh, I try and avoid as much as I can. Uh, but I like podcasts a lot. I, I like this... Uh, this Lex Friedman guy, the Russian uh-huh. guy. Uh, so I, I try and watch all that he puts out, and he puts out really long form content. Yeah. Like some of his podcasts are four hours, five hours, six hours. So it is a bit painful to catch all of them, but I like the con- kind of content he puts out because he's so eclectic. Jaise ki aaj, uh, he'll go and in- interview a rapper. Tomorrow he'll be like some scientist. Day after tomorrow he'll be a neurologist. Uh, so the eclectic nature of his content is very ap- appealing. Okay, so uh, mostly it's uh, information or uh, something that you uh, can learn from. Yeah, uh, opinion pieces I'm not a fan of because, okay. uh, you know, opinions are very transient. What somebody thinks of something or someone today will be totally different from what they think about that person or that thing in three days, right? Like judgment is fleeting and transient and constantly passing and i don't think there is much to gain from listening to people's judgment of other people or other things and um he uh, lex friedman i also watched some of his podcasts Mm. um he talks a lot about crypto Mm. a lot about um investing also but what are your thoughts on um cryptocurrency well now it's easy to kind of (laughs) like be critical of crypto after all that has happened right like uh, i have never uh, had an experience firsthand with crypto in the sense i've never bought one or i've never mined one or i've never been part of anything remotely uh, crypto uh, or nft or blockchain related even to that extent Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm. I've applied. Li- I'm getting some of the beta version of CBDC, Indian government's. Okay, okay. Yeah, so that would be my first tryst with anything blockchain remotely to that sense. I feel like a lot of people uh, oversell these concepts so much online. Uh, most people who are selling it don't understand it themselves, which is a pity because. Uh, every second new kid out there is going on and on about web3 and blockchain and web3 and blockchain and when you often like you know at my venture firm when you actually research the company Mm -hmm. and ask them what are you doing using this technology often it's nothing it's uh, it's a it's a big inflection of uh, what underneath is very simple in these companies but they use these as catchphrases so it's fairly disappointing but personally, I've had no experience firsthand with anything crypto. Did you hear about the FTX? Yeah, FTX yeah. crash. Of course, I think there is nobody on the planet who hasn't heard <laughs> about it right now. Whenever they make a movie about it, I think it'll be amazing. Especially if Michael Lewis is writing the book about it. Yeah, I, thirty-two billion dollars in yeah. 
one day i think this is the biggest crash that has ever happened hmm. and um, what do you think like uh, crypto ja raha hai upar ja raha hai niche ja raha hai like like um, or is it like ki you don't know abhi ke like you you have to experience it a little bit kyunki in india mein bhi you you see uh, just abhi thoda sa bata rahe the digital uh, currency uh, hmm. and digital coin sari cheeze introduce ho rahi hai i think there are advantages clear advantages to rbi's coin uh, cbdc uh, especially when it comes to you know things like remittances from another country mm-hmm. right now uh, existing players take 4 days to 3 days to 4 days to spend send money back from say a gulf to kerala or from us to karnataka and they charge too much if that cost goes down significantly will help a lot of people uh there is a lot of leakage in subsidy dissemination say uh, you're a farmer you need to be given x money for fertilizers uh it's a good way to control ki you only buy fertilizers with that subsidy money uh, there are a bunch of advantages like there are with crypto as well i think but i feel like the final iteration of crypto in a way has not arrived uh mm. i feel uh, if we were to come upon a time when uh countries across the world become uh capital account convertible in a way uh, the currency becomes truly convertible uh say for example you're an indian today and you have indian rupees if you want to go invest in another country or take out indian rupees convert it into the us dollar and invest outside you have a cap right like you can mm-hmm. do about 250000 dollars a year uh, which is our lrs limit uh, like dubai does not have that cap for example yeah, yeah, yeah. many countries are uh, truly convertible when the entire world becomes like that uh, and i think a mat is coming uh, primarily because of all these tax havens having done as well th- as they have Uh, I think many countries will come together and mandate a minimum tax that every country in the world has to cha- has to charge. So when there is a mat across the world, when all the countries open up and become truly convertible, I think at that point of time, uh, the 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 usage and need for something like this and the scale that something uh, crypto might reach will be significantly higher. I have seen a lot of. Um things fall down in uh, in not just in crypto but also in the brokerage uh, business i have seen a lot of um um i would say frauds uh companies that uh, close down and your money vanishes in a day how do you think all that happens and um agar jaise i have also seen uh, like i have also um um it सम बैंक्स के साथ भी काफ़ी सारी चीज़ें होती हैं बट इंडिया आई थिंक इज़ अ ग्रेट कंट्री इन टर्म्स की पीपल डोंट आई थिंक पीपल डोंट अप्रिशिएट इंडिया के बैंक्स को क्योंकि जो बैंक्स फ्रॉड हैं और सारी चीज़ें इंडिया में काफ़ी कम होती हैं दैट्स वॉट आई थिंक बट अब वो ब्रोकरेज बिजनेस में जो फ्रॉड्स होते हैं या फिर जो जैसे कंपनीज क्लोज डाउन हो जाती हैं उनके बारे में आपके क्या थाट्स हैं so i think the regulators in india both sebi rbi the government they've done an incredible job uh, i'll give you my own example i was trying to uh, do a transaction with a foreign bank a large global foreign bank uh, it took three phone recordings over five days uh, it was a dollar transaction uh, physical forms that had to be signed it took something like 7 days for my money to go from my indian bank account to that bank account it was meant to be a investment into a certain company the value of the company had changed so much in that time and uh, they charged me something like 40 50 dollars per transaction maybe 15 bips of forex fees on currency conversion uh, they called four different times to ask for clarifications on things on the form which i had to physically sign that were not required at all 
that same thing in india happens in a second without a fee uh, that in itself is incredible i can't uh, uh, i feel like this whole upi that ecosystem in many ways i know nandan is from uh, nandan is from bangalore and uh, he's been critical to this entire ecosystem he's probably the uh, i would call him a startup founder innovator i look up to most uh, because of how much impact his projects have created in the world uh, but i think the the government here has done a tremendous job especially when it comes to banking and i think we need to take pride in the fact that indian banking is so far ahead of a country like america uh, on the broking side again uh, the regulations that sebi has brought in place over the last 2 3 years uh, they brought down the leverage that is available to retail investors mm-hmm. they made sure brokers segregate client funds from their own funds they made sure brokers send the clients money back to their bank account once every quarter for all the clients at once uh, before people would report how much margin you are using on a end of day basis now on a intraday basis they check that if you're holding a certain position the amount of money required to hold that position is actually there uh, so i think sebi again has done an incredible job in shoring up diligence and uh, compliance around brokers in the in the best way possible and for both banks and brokers uh, by virtue of the tasks they have done or the changes they have made in the last few years the likelihood of a indian bank or a indian broker failing in my opinion are significantly lower than most other developed geographies in the world hmm. so i think you know often people keep critiquing everybody right like sometimes you have to compliment people on a job well done and this is one such area uh, even this bitcoin thing right like uh, you could call it blind luck but for the regulator of our country to essentially ban in a manner because of that tds it becomes irrelevant to trade crypto in india right but to do that two months preceding the crash in crypto saved so much money for so much retail right Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Um, and it hundred percent it saved a lot of money for a lot of people. And I think um, India has grown a lot. Mm. And I think we are also creating this podcast. हम भी ये चाहते हैं कि um, जो लोग इसको देख रहे हैं, they are able to um, take away things. Um, and I think लोगों के पास intent है uh, चीजों को करने का. But what do you think? एज अ कंट्री हमारे लाइक थिंग्स दैट यू थिंक कि अगर ये सारी चीज़ें हो जाए तो इट वुड मूव अस फार फार अहेड इट्स अ वेरी ब्रॉड क्वेश्चन बट एनी थिंग लाइक इफ यू थिंक कि माइंड सेट चेंज कर रहा होना चाहिए या फिर वॉट यू गाइज आर डूइंग इज ग्रेट आई थिंक यू influencers on social media are changing the goal post in a way uh, like hum pehle baat kar rahe the i think you're making the new heroes of new india entrepreneurs but not uh, artists and i think that change in itself will inspire and uh, encourage thousands of capable young indians who will take up entrepreneurship uh i would say at the very ground level that is the one big change which can help us grow at a faster pace i think we need more people to come out there risk their time money take chances try to start companies build new product uh, in an open market uh, you know in uh, by virtue of the capitalistic ecosystem <coughs> that we live in i hope that doesn't change but i think increased entrepreneurship will lead to india growing at a faster pace than uh, we have witnessed do you think everybody should try being an entrepreneur sabko business karke dekhna why not i think right like if you are employed by someone and your employer can make uh, and ca- your employer can take 10 of you and together create more value than the 10 of you are getting paid that means you are adding more value to a company than your getting paid for and i think 
most people uh, i would in fact say everybody is capable of being an entrepreneur and uh, uh, i i would suggest that more and more people try it and um just like you said ki um, people get paid and um, they make money and um, you're also talking about trading um, so when you trade someone loses money someone makes money and money moves from one place uh, mm. one person to another or one institution to another do you think everybody in the world can become rich uh rich is a very ambiguous word mm. word but uh, if the question is can we move everybody from low income to middle income and should that be the drive of a nation uh, as big as india i would say yeah i i would say definitely why not and also when you're investing or trading uh, if you're trading cash settled derivative contracts uh one person loses but another person makes but if you buy equity in a company say you mm. buy 100 shares of reliance and reliance next year does more profits than this year and the year after that more profits and more profit and the value of reliance as a company by virtue of that goes up everybody makes money right so um essentially everybody can to some extent um become they can move above survival no i th- i think they can do much better than that i feel uh, often people say ki you know isme itna talent tha isliye isne acha kiya us wo itna intelligent tha i feel like that's all rubbish i feel when you're born most of us are very similar our experiences and circumstances inculcate us into being who we are as people Uh, so i feel like anybody can do well uh, public perception or peer group perception and judgment of who is good and who is bad is often relevant to agar koi bol raha hai ki aap itne capable nahi ho kyunki aapko shayad college mein kam marks mil rahe hain or whatever i think i think you've just not recognized your own skill set and your strength yet but everybody is capable of being an entrepreneur being a very successful one and running businesses and also up um, you were talking about college ke marks and mm-hmm. everything so um how was your experience with the education system ya fir matlab like aapka padhai ke sath kaisa relation raha hai ekdam seedha seedha very bad seedha answer very bad kabhi college nahi gaye but uh, even before college i don't think i was in school the best student uh, i would i was somebody who would get 75% marks kind of a thing so so like how would you define ki um, why do you think ki a lot of successful people they they are not good in school ya college ya such type uh, i don't think that's true i feel agar uh, if you look at a larger uh, size right like if you look at 10000 people college educated better college educated people who have gotten higher marks will probably have done better in life uh, these exceptions that you are talking about i think their story is exaggerated to the to a certain extent mm-hmm. because it sounds nicer when you say oh ye college nahi gaya but isne ye kiya right like so it's it kind of like becomes more spoken it it gets spoken about a lot more what oh sorry um what did you not like about kyunki i kind of have a similar experience kyunki mere ko aisa thoda sa college ke time pe aisa thoda sa bandha bandha sa lagta tha i i felt very caught up aur aisa lagta tha ki like why just this why i can't do so much more ya fir um maybe five subject was i only liked one aisa day to what were the things you did not like and what were the things that you maybe even appreciate so it was a two way relationship right it's not like i didn't like it <laughs> they also didn't like me <laughs> so i think it went hand in hand but uh, i i don't think i enjoyed uh, studying yaar yeah. like i don't think i enjoyed it's strange because i love reading and uh, like 
I would have read like lots of books on many different subjects. Like I've transitioned in my own personal space from reading about uh, economics and finance to I read more about history and uh, psychology today. But I think the kind of books and the kind of information uh, I was learning in school was not very enticing to me. It did not interest me so much. The subjects that they were trying to teach. Mm. Do you think, um, just I've heard a lot about, um, um, I've seen a lot of Ray Dalio videos. Mm. Um, he talks about the economic cycle and I love it. Yeah. Um, history repeats mm. itself. Mm-hmm. Do you think he, like, as a history, just say, because in also fashion, also, the mm. purane, beast beast yeah. salpe trend yeah. repeat, hote hai. and uh, we also see that stock market, ke andar, yeah. uh, industries, ke andar, uh. mein. do you think it um, replicates itself, hist- uh, history, or like, to how a certain it, extent, okay. stock markets, mein na, ek, there's an entire field called technical analysis. Uh, one could argue there is nothing technical about technical analysis. It's more pattern recognition. But there are a there is a wide uh, wide community of people who believe that patterns recur, and they recur at very similar intervals. I personally don't buy into that school of thought. I think. Uh, market activity driven by sentiment is a bit more random Uh, so if somebody were to start off investing I would probably advise to focus more on researching balance sheets and being more fundamental in your Mm -hmm. research than going technical Uh, yeah but that's a very personal thing that's what I believe in somebody else will be a big uh, champion of the technical analysis uh, or pattern recognition course so um, what are your thoughts uh, abhi kyunki um economy india mein kafi sari cheeze have been doing well um mm-hmm. but there are a lot of signs ki cheeze uh, slow down ho rahi hain mm-hmm. in the investment space mm-hmm. and uh, even uh, india ke bahar bhi f- you see uh, foreign markets inflation hai um, uh, uh, social tensions thodi bahut hain what do you think ki economy um, could there be a recession nearby and um, it, malab, how can people prepare uh, or is it to some extent what are your thoughts about recession in general so recession again is very subjective uh, every country defines recession in their own way jaise ki america bolta hai ki uh, two consecutive quarters of minus 1% GDP growth is their version of recession. But they changed it. (laughs) Ah, ah. (laughs) So one could argue that US at some level is in a recession. Uh I would say uh, going into winter, a lot of European countries can also be considered in a recession. Uh, India, on the other hand, like, you know, I keep talking to investors from many countries uh, mm. many funds are you know housed in japan and the us and a lot of money comes into india from the west uh, people are very optimistic about india for two three reasons they might be pessimistic about america the americans i'm talking about but they love india as a market now we're not cheap right like uh, india is now probably trading at 20 20 and a half 21 times forward earnings we are expecting uh, earnings to grow by 12% in the next 3-4 years. Uh, those mm-hmm. are the estimates. Let's say in the last decade we grew at about 7%. So relative to most world economies, we have seen a much lower correction. We are almost at all time highs today. People really love India in today's ecosystem. A because China has somehow like completely shut down to the world of capitalism Uh, they're increasingly looking like they're uh, i would not like to say going back to their communist past but they're moving away from capitalism Uh, we also have this great privilege of having an incumbent uh, incumbent government under modi ji which has been very consistent with policy direction for uh, almost a decade now and looks like that is set to continue. Uh, 
uh, and the demographic dividend you know we are a young country there is a lot of potential penetration numbers across industry are low so people like india as a market for that reason and i think they will continue to pump money into india hmm. that is one side of the argument the other side of the argument is inflation is 8% uh, uh, gdp seems to be slowing down uh, if the cost of everything is increasing at 10% but your income to buy those things is going up by 5% one can argue uh, uh, is that really uh, the economy growing right uh, so i am optimistic about india in a relative world where i am much more pessimistic about the west hmm and what can one do uh, probably diversification is the only way out uh, most indians tend to be very real estate heavy mm hum -hmm. uh, log uh, we park as much as 60 70% of our net worth in houses with 30 year loans and uh, land and all of that but i would suggest you move away from that move into more liquid asset classes ki kal koi problem ho jaye you can actually sell it without losing too much so you know build a portfolio where real estate comes down from 70 to maybe 30% 35% put 10% of your net worth in gold put another 30% in risk free fixed income the advantage with inflation is when inflation goes up interest rates also go up uh traditionally interest rates will go up higher than inflation before inflation comes down but even today you're able to get 7 7.5% if you park your money in a bank with some kind of a lock in you know it could be 6 months or 1 year or whatever so put we did 35% uh, land maybe 10% gold maybe another 20 30% in fixed income which has no risk and the balance 30% in equity so get a bunch of different asset classes like this don't put a majority of your money in one thing because i think if things were to get bad that will hurt you the most hmm and um, i think we um, we talked a lot about um, um your thoughts and um, investing and um but we i would love to hear a little bit about technology also um yeah. i am no expert in technology <laughs> like you have to teach me maybe you tell me your thoughts on technology 100% um but which phone are you using i am using a 3 and a half years old s20 which is it's also broken it's also broken yeah you um, so my my logic with phones is uh, until they stop working i don't switch okay okay so i don't know when this came out s20 i think this is mm. that was what now it's s24 or something right uh it's s22 really yeah it's then 2 years old 2 yeah. and a half years old two every year they old. put one new phone right yeah yeah but um i think it's i love technology and yeah. i think it's just something which phone are you using i am using an iphone uh, the iphone um uh, 14 pro max Ah. I uh, I prefer with a very fancy Yeah yeah it's a we have created this product layers.shop <laughs> <laughs> but um essentially I think um, technology is very um what I feel about technology is technology is very very powerful mm. and I believe that we all are going to become rich Mm. in the next 10 15 years mm. and when i say rich i mean ki sari cheeze would be free that are needed for survival mm. um i agree with you i i i think food mm. matlab khana mm. free ho jayega mm. kyunki khana essentially farming sari robots mm. kar sakte hain and uh, vertical farming ek building mein robots kar sakte hain wo sari cheeze paka bhi sakte hain um khana can become free वाटर कैन बिकम फ्री अगर ऐसे समुद्र का पानी वी कैन जस्ट कन्वर्ट इन टू ड्रिंकेबल वाटर विच इज़ वेरी मच पॉसिबल बिजली वी कैन यूज सोलर एनर्जी एंड इट इज़ बींग डन कि आप छत पर लगा दो तो इलेक्ट्रिसिटी कैन बिकम फ्री एंड एसेंशली बाकी सारी जितनी चीज़ें हैं ट्रांसपोर्ट एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट एसेंशली बेसिक सर्वाइवल नीड जितनी हैं 
I think they would all become free and also information is free already. Now, hmm. education is completely free. Hmm. Koi, uh, YouTube can open things and it is all free. So I think the next 10 years, people will not be able to do anything. Robots will do everything. And we would all be left with um, this creative life in which we want to do whatever So that is my thought. Like the biggest thing I think technology would do. I think I agree with you. I was just watching one podcast today, Lex Friedman only. Mm-hmm. He was interviewing Chamath. And yeah, yeah. Uh, Chamath was talking about energy uh, becoming free across the world. And it made so much sense. I feel like uh, if you were to take away utility companies and all the all the companies that are set to gain from disseminating generating power in the old school manner that they are uh, the cost of solar now is almost like you know lower than traditional so i think that tra- that transition will happen very quickly and um, i think also uh, saw a, a lot of i have because i we have been very exposed to um the new things that have been happening so um I have seen things in the AR space hmm. uh, just may you put on goggles and hmm. uh, jati, which is your favorite piece of technology so this is a good question for you as an investor do you think Facebook which is now meta uh, I've been holding their equity for a long time and uh, it has corrected abysmally right? it's down 70% this year do you think Facebook will be able to I've attempted using the oculus it gives me a headache in one hour uh, i've been on the metaverse seen a couple of things uh, which looks very uh, not even game like but game like from 10 years ago do you think facebook will be able to pull off the metaverse in the manner that they're investing money behind it and uh, uh, do you think as a tech entrepreneur do you think that is the future i will tell you my opinion mm. i don't know what is mm. going to happen mm. but i can only say jo what i felt i felt ki it currently it feels ki <laughs> unrealistic it Purana feels like video game jaisa ha it it feels unnatural mm. ki ye to aisa to nahi hona chahiye mm. itna bada headset laga ke koi nahi baithega mm. but um, what i feel is ki everything is unnatural mm. The medicines that we eat are unnatural. The food that we eat are, is very unnatural. It is being packed. Um, everything around us is to s- some extent unnatural. Mobile phones or even video calls are not natural. Mm. And I think it is It is just because I have experienced it. And what I have seen is that I headset like this. And I have seen different, different types of headset. And um, up cheese uh, experience karo to if you go to let's say a mountain wali up koi uh, imagery dekh rahe ho to actually niche dekhoge to paseena aane lagta hai mm. you start sweating and wo fear aata hai wo sare emotions feel hote hain and uh, i think hum as humans we are driven by emotion aur hum zyada tar cheeze in emotions ke around hi cheeze karte hain jaise hum jaise even if i see uh, main cricket dekh raha hu mm. to ग्यारह लोग हैं वो खड़े हैं एक बंदा बैट से डंडे से बॉल को मार रहा है तो वाई आर वी सो एक्साइटेड अबाउट बॉल बींग हिट बाय बैट आई थिंक इट्स ऑल द इमोशन जो है जो बहुत ड्राइविंग फोर्स है और सेम मेरे को सोशल मीडिया पे भी फील होता है तो आई थिंक एनी थिंग दैट कैन एम्पलीफाई दैट इमोशनल एक्सपीरियंस वुड वर्क राइट नाउ बस दिक्कत यह है कि अभी इट इज़ नॉट फंक्शनल इनफ टू बी एबल टू बी कम्फर्टेबली यूज एंड वो कुछ पर्पज सॉल्व नहीं कर पा रही है बट ज़्यादातर चीज़ों हो सकता है पर्पज सॉल्व ना भी करना हो काफ़ी सारी चीज़ें डोंट हैव टू मेक सेंस अलॉट ऑफ स्पोर्ट्स डोंट मेक सेंस डांसिंग डज नॉट मेक सेंस अलॉट ऑफ थिंग्स डेट वी डू लॉजिकल ऐसे कोई सेंस नहीं है बट आई एम वेरी वेरी optimistic mm. about AR क्योंकि I have seen prototypes जिसमें वो चश्मा जो AR over VR yes mm. more AR over VR 
आई वुड कॉल इट मिक्स रियलिटी जो है ना वो अच्छा है जिसमें मिक्स हो जाता है कि लाइक रियल लाइफ एंड वो सारी चीज़ें मिक्स हो जाती हैं आई थिंक वो मेरे को अच्छा सो सम आइट्रेशन ऑफ जो गूगल ग्लास आता था समथिंग लाइक दैट हाँ एंड आई थिंक इट वुड बी इवन बेटर आई थिंक इट वुड बी इवन बेटर एंड वॉट आई फील इज़ कि नॉट जस्ट द ग्लास बट ऑल्सो एक बॉडी सूट कुड बी देर विच कि इफ़ यू आर ट्रैवलिंग इट वॉम लेट्स ए इट वॉम्स यू अप इफ़ यू आर ट्रैवलिंग टू अ कोल्ड प्लेस इट विल कूल यू डाउन इफ देर इज़ अ विंडी देर वुड बी विंडी सेंसेशन एंड आई हैव ऑल्सो सीन ऐसे कि बिकॉज राइट नाउ यू आर नॉट एबल टू यू आर नॉट एबल टू इंटरेक्ट सो लेट्स ए इफ यू होल्ड अ ग्लास आई हैव सीन प्रोटोटाइप्स वेयर ये होता है कि एसेंशली वैन यू होल्ड अ ग्लास ये ऐसे ग्लास में रेजिस्टेंस है तो उसमें प्रोटोटाइप में क्या था कि जैसे वैन यू होल्ड इट उसमें मोटर्स थी तो उसमें रेजिस्टेंस आती थी इट फील्स लाइक यू आर होल्डिंग ऑन टू समथिंग हैप्टिक्स हाँ इट्स एसेंशली नॉट इवन हैप्टिक्स बट इट्स लाइक एक रेजिस्टेंस मोटर कि इट स्टॉप्स योर हैंड फ्रॉम गोइंग फार इनफ तो आई थिंक ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग्स वेन एडेड अप दे आर प्रेजेंट हेयर एंड देयर एंड ऑल ऑफ दीज एलिमेंट्स बट वेन दे एड अप एंड क्रिएट अ फुल एक्सपीरियंस आई थिंक इट वुड बी exponentially powerful right uh, and it would be it would completely destroy anything that we use today mm. uh, like smartphones and TVs and mm. all of that because once VR gets there mm. you won't need TVs yeah. you won't need cinemas mm. you won't need mobiles you won't need almost everything that the size of screen would not matter yeah. that's what i feel I think the one big disadvantage with smartphones is you still have to take them out from your pocket and look at them. Yeah. Like glasses in AR for example. I think that one change that fraction of whatever time you can save I think will maybe a game changer one day. What else do you think uh ki ye technology mein ye agar aata hai to um bahut badhiya rahega. Aise kuch zyada to main janta nahi hu technology ke bare mein but um I think if your uh, what is that thing which Elon Musk is a p- part of Neuralink ha huh, Neuralink yeah. I think that's an interesting idea ha uh, it's like um we would be we wouldn't have to do this podcast we, we could just, just be, look at each other ha right? huh, we would <laughs> just be. but also I've uh, huh. seen a lot of um people who meditate hmm. be able to do that like to telepathy. some extent to some extent mm. like they are able to feel emotions dur se mm. as it is do you have any experience in uh, meditation maine try kiya hai bahut like i just came back from uh, rishikesh i spent 8 days in uh, doing a meditation and yoga course the problem is uh, my attention span is not that long i feel like beyond 30 minutes for me to concentrate on one thing my mind is in like two three different places mm. So try to kiya hai, but I've not excelled at it. I've tried those apps. Why na calm hai? Indian mm. there's a new app called Ayu. Mm. So I've tried a bunch of different things, but not successfully. <laughs> <laughs> but um, also um, I think trading maybe or um, just say investing maybe. Mm. Do you think technology ऐसे कोई breakthrough आएगा कि लाइक robots या फिर AI हमसे बेटर ट्रेड कर रहा होगा मेरे ख्याल से द द डे ट्रू ए आई लाइक यू नो कम्स एंड यू हैव अ सेंटिएंट बीइंग राइट आई थिंक द वर्ल्ड चेंजेस एज़ वी नो इट बट देयर इज नो ट्रू ए आई अप अंटिल देन राइट वी आर ऑल मिमिकिंग एंड लर्निंग फ्रॉम पास्ट बिहेवियर इन वन फॉर्म और अनदर दैट्स लाइक माय लिटिल टू सेंस अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ इट अ लॉट ऑफ दैट ऑलरेडी एग्जिस्ट्स इन द ट्रेडिंग वर्ल्ड मेनी पीपल फीड loads of data into a neural network look for patterns look at what they should do uh, but eventually yeah in the next few years i don't think anything will change drastically abhi jo hai na zyada tar technology in investing and trading is more towards execution less towards logic so people are not successfully determining what they should buy but they are more buying more efficiently using technology acha sir um mere next wala question is a little bit about ki aapko na ascending order mein you have to put things hmm. 
Mm-hmm. So um, you have to put them in a list of priorities: one, mm-hmm. two, three, four. First is money. Mm-hmm. Second is power. Mm-hmm. Third is relationships. Mm-hmm. Fourth is time. Time one. Time one. Time is one, definitely. Uh, you say time, money, power, relationship. Yeah. Time is one. Not to like you know lie on your podcast. I would say, uh, money, power, relationships. Time, money, power, relationships. Mm. And I know I am wrong in my order, and I need to fix it and put relationships higher up the order. But I am saying this order because I have not been successful in that attempt yet. Do you think? Um for being successful you need to um sacrifice a lot of um matlab aise personal life sacrifice karni padti hai bilkul when it comes to relationships 100% with 100% i have sacrificed <laughs> bilkul of course yeah you you start like mai bol raha tha na aapko like literally in the last 19 years if markets are on if i have not been working if i have not been in front of my terminals there have been 3 days or 4 days and those days i was in the hospital otherwise i've been in front of my terminals if i'm on holiday if i had a wedding i've not gone to like you know some friend ki shaadi uh, all of these events which people often have i've skipped and i think many many people like me have also skipped like you might have done to a certain extent as well you will have your own sacrifices that you have made uh, i think these are not visible but somehow uh, they are one of the raw ingredients into getting that traditional form of you know scale in a business and getting to a certain position um you ab mai bata rahe the ki um history ke bare mein ab books books padhte hain um what kind of books um hmm. uh, like kis tarah ki history all kinds of history are like uh, there was one time when i got obsessed with nazi history and i was like uh, how could one man become what he became but more intriguing to me was how was he successful at what he was attempting to do So I spent a lot of time on that. So you know, Hitler and his generals, everybody from uh, everybody has a story, right? Like there was Goering, there was Goebbels. Uh, each each kind of like general of his life had a story of their own. Uh, the Luftwaffe, uh, the guy who ran the air force, which was instrumental. Uh, so let's say one phase is German history for like a few months or a year. there will be another phase which goes like way back in time in greek history uh so people like plato socrates aristotle the thing i love about greek history more than all others is uh, they never preached uh, they were probably the least preachy philosophers of their time and uh, uh, their entire thing was curiosity uh, like socrates was mm-hmm. one could argue that he was killed like you know the whatever the the uh, the the court kind of like uh, commissioned his death right and uh, one could argue it was because of his questioning of what is religion why is religion stuff like that but i think that is the most important thing in anybody's development we have that as children when you're a child you learn so much you absorb so much information because you go around questioning everything as you grow older you grow ego as you grow right like uh, uh, at some point this happens to many people that they start feeling embarrassed to ask questions uh, thinking there will be judgment of one sort or another from the other side so i'm i'm fascinated by greek uh, history for uh the way in which they inculcated and encouraged curiosity and um there's a huge part of it i i um stoicism kafi zyada ek aisa 
I think they all preach that to some extent. Do you for, do you like that concept? I mean, log mujhe bolte hain ki you're quite stoic. Uh, I think they misconstrue me being unemotional to being uh, stoic. Uh, I, stoicism ke bahut sare definition hai. The one which most resonates with me is uh, if something is going wrong in my life like we all are doing constantly many things right we are all multitasking you might be thinking about a you might be working on b you might be doing something which is c uh, to me stoicism is if i can take a which is like going horribly uh, is not working out put it in a box continue to function with b and c and behave in a manner that a has not happened and reapproach a at some point in the future that is my definition of stoicism uh, so i think people misconstrue me not being reactive to be me being stoic but at some level maybe i am a bit, little bit stoic i think a lot of uh, work that you have done mm. um and how you think about things it feels very rational mm. and very logical or as a like if when, whenever you try to break down something you try to figure out like as a mind map and you try to figure out ki hai point a hai point b hai we'll do this we'll do that so do you think how much of the decisions you make mm. like the big decisions mm. uh, company start karne ke and all of mm. that how much of it is rational and how much of it are emotional decisions ki like mere ko bas lag raha hai maine start kar diya i would say 50 50 i would say no uh, strangely as i was younger they were more rational less emotional i was maybe uh, socho ki 10 saal pehle main tha 80% rational 20% emotional 5 years ago i was 60% rational 40 emotional now i feel like i am 30 rational 70 emotional yeah the majority of the business decisions you take on yeah i think i think with driver. time you start to trust your gut a little bit uh, i feel like uh, now i kind of base my decisions on who i will be working with who i will be partnering with uh, w- picking which industry i want to be working in and uh, a lot of these are very gut related and i'm more comfortable taking those decisions today like i was saying earlier by virtue of the freedom i've gained through the years and you are also talking about um, jo ingredients hain success ke to and you have a very different uh, lifestyle from what let's say a regular viewer uh, might be kyunki usually log 2 3 ghante kaam karte hain and uh, a lot of people जो नाइन टू फाइव जॉब्स भी करते हैं वो एसेंशियली तीन चार घंटे पाँच घंटे काम करते हैं सेम मैं भी ऐसे ही हूँ प्रोडक्टिव काम इज प्रोबली दो तीन घंटे अनप्रोडक्टिव स्टेयरिंग इट स्क्रीन प्रिटेंडिंग टू वर्क इज द रेस्ट ऑफ द डे बट वट वुड बी आपकी पाँच लेट से लाइफ स्टाइल चॉइसिस या हैबिट्स जो वुड से कि लाइक हाँ दीज हेल्प अलॉट आई थिंक फिजिकली बींग फिट हेल्प अलॉट I try I don't but I try to go to the gym four five times a week helps me big time uh, the one thing I'm not able to kind of like you know my diet is okay like what I put in my body I'm not addicted I don't have a sweet tooth all of that is fine the one thing I rea- there's this great book called why we sleep I think everybody should read it I realized this very late that uh, sleeping is such a critical part of life and i am just not able to get as much sleep as i require wo ring aata hai na ha aura aura so i wear that aura ring uh, so every night when i uh, go to sleep and it's not like i don't have time like my time in bed is okay but my time asleep my rem my deep sleep metrics all of those are like really bad Uh, and i've now realized how important sleep is sleep is more important than diet workout all of that put together uh, and i think that's one thing i want to change but i think it's super important so what would be the uh, other f- uh, four things yeah so physical f- being physically okay i think is very very important 
uh, one th- one thing this is like a little bit personal to me is uh, it's horrible that uh, there is so much hate in this ecosystem right like you look at social media you look at people sabhi log hamesha sabhi ki burai kar rahe hain mostly anonymously mm-hmm. and i don't know what triggers people uh, beyond a point to be so vicious but uh being nice like you know being normal and nice i'm not saying be uh, go out of your way to please anyone uh being with nice people working with nice people being reasonably nice yourself is a very very underrated quality but i think it adds so much like i go out of my way to surround myself with people who are nice e- all be it superficially it doesn't matter but you don't want to be around excessively negative people in life or excessively critical people in life so i think i value being nice and people who are nice a lot mm. third thing would be what uh, what was the question again just say it again. पांच हैबिट्स या फिर मे बी समथिंग यू डू इन योर लाइफ कि आप लेट्स से सुबह उठ के आप यू रीड समथिंग और यू जर्नल और लेट्स से यू स्पेंड अ टाइम कंप्यूटर पे या फिर यू डू वट एवर एनी जो आपकी लाइफ स्टाइल का पार्ट हो नंबर थ्री वुड बी टू स्पेंड नॉट मोर देन थर्टी मिनट्स ऑन सोशल मीडिया डे आई फील सोशल मीडिया हमें पता नहीं चलता बट बहुत टॉक्सिक है स्पेशली लाइक यू नो Uh, scrolling through random pictures on Instagram I'm not talking about gaining knowledge and looking at things which are informative but everybody updates this very pretentious lifestyle on social media which is not truly their life right mm-hmm. uh jaise people put the highlights of their life onto social media but your subconscious somewhere starts to imagine that that is their normal life Uh, and you're bound to feel insecure and anxious and all of these things if you spend beyond a certain amount of time on social media so everybody has to limit social media exposure uh, i would say you know no more than 30 minutes of looking at others pictures and their holidays and what they're buying and how they're traveling and all of that i think beyond that uh, it's just toxic so third habit would be that fourth habit would be to read uh, i feel like don't confine yourself between two metrics read anything you find whatever you're interested in uh, uh, if you like the human mind read about that if you believe the world is cyclical in nature read history if you love science read about science Uh, i would add reading bar podcast to consume information because i feel like that is another very efficient way to get a lot of information in a short period of time uh, a lot of people prefer the visual medium to having to sit with a book it's it's more uh, uh, exciting in a way there are like not just seeing but hearing and kind of like sensing emotions on the person's face helps as well so that would be number 4 and number 5 habit uh this is like a as you this is like something i learned in life a few years ago as you grow in life as you make more money in life as you are uh, put in this position where people consider you successful don't let your lifestyle change beyond a point uh, i feel like you need when you when you first get access right you need those five ten things you have dreamt of as a child uh, you need to like uh, do three four things beyond that don't keep upgrading and uh, making your lifestyle go higher and higher where you need more to support it uh, i feel one is happier off being able to afford 10 but doing two then being able to afford 10 and doing 10 um we would be ending this and um humko mere ko i really love um how you think about things and jo values and health ke bare mein aapne cheeze batayi and how reading and everything um uh, that shapes up um 
हु यू आर एंड मैं बस चाहूँगा कि लाइक इफ देर इज वन थिंग दैट यू वुड से टू लेट से सिक्सटीन ईयर ओल्ड दैट इज लेट से वॉचिंग दिस पॉडकास्ट वॉट इज दैट वन एडवाइस और मे बी इट कुड बी लाइक अ सेंटेंस और वॉट एवर यू फील लाइक जो यू थिंक इट वुड इम्पैक्ट हिज लाइफ ग्रेटली आई वुड से डोंट दिस इज अ वेरी काउंटर इंटिव थिंग टू से बट डोंट बी सो कम्पेटिटिव डोंट कम्पेयर योर सेल्फ टू अदर पीपल अच्छे मार्क्स नहीं आए यू डेंट गेट इन टू द बेस्ट कॉलेज इन द वर्ल्ड ऑल ऑफ दिस टेन ईयर्स डाउन द लाइन ट्वेंटी ईयर्स डाउन द लाइन यू लुक बैक एंड लाफ इट हाउ इ रेलिवेंट ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग्स इन लाइफ वर फाइंड समथिंग दैट यू लव टू डू और यू लाइक टू डू एंड ट्राई टू बिल्ड अ करियर विच अलाउज यू टू डू दैट बट स्टॉप कम्पीटिंग कंपेरिंग एंड लिविंग बाई दीज बेंच मार्क्स दैट society has kind of created for us because uh, in the long run you will realize that these really don't matter thank you that was um, very great talking to you aur humko kafi sari cheeze seekhne ke liye mili and it was a very positive uplifting and inspiring podcast for me and of course uh, the audience would love it as well so thank you for making time and thank you thank you for Shruk. having this podcast thank you <laughs>